Hello, today I'm going to be flashing the Motorola Droid 4 XT894, also known as Maserati. Um, I'm going to be using the original Motorola firmware 18-8, that's the latest that's uh, been released. Um, using RSD Lite um, version 6.4.4. Once you download the uh, firmware file, it's a zip containing an XML folder. Um, you want to use a MD5 checker to verify the MD5 uh, checksum. Make sure it was downloaded correctly. Um, this long code here will be posted with the uh, download. Um, and you just want to browse to where you have the folder, the zip folder, and um, we're just verifying that um, it was downloaded correctly. This takes a few seconds. And codes match. So we're done with that part. Um, close that. Um, and you want to install your RSD Lite and you want to install Motorola drivers. Um, then once you have all those um, you can go ahead and boot your Motorola Droid 4 to AP fast boot mode. Um, there's a few different ways to do that. I'm going I have the USB cable already connected so a few um, on, the, on the phone side just need to press both the volume buttons in and connect your uh, USB cable to the PC and there we go we have um, boot mode selection our options are normal power up recovery AP fast boot BP fast flash BP only BP Hardware Diagnostics and Boot AP and BP Tools. We're just going to scroll down with your volume down to AP Fast Boot, and then you're going to use the volume up, and that will um, select it. And this is AP Fast Boot mode. Um, version is 0A.77. That is a Jelly Bean version. Um, which means that we can only flash Jelly Bean software on this, or newer. Um, and then it has some other information there. Um, you also want to pay attention to battery OK, OK to program, and if it's connected, it'll say transfer mode, USB connected. Um, if the battery is not OK, um, you want to charge the battery, or you're going to need a uh, fast boot cable or um, also known as a factory cable. Um, now that you have that in AP fast boot mode, you should go to your control panel and hardware and sound device manager and uh, we just want to verify that the computer sees it as an ABD interface and it's going to say a mod was Motorola single ADB interface. If you see that, should be good. If you list it as a Droid 4 and it, and it has a yellow triangle, you probably need to um, fix your drivers. Um, or else it may not um, flash the firmware correctly. We'll go ahead and click, uh, close that. I have RSD installed already, so we have this icon. Just need to click on that and um, go ahead and allow um, the warning there and you can see that it detects it as in fa uh, fast boot and if you click fast boot it'll give you a, uh, it'll pop that out, it doesn't really give you any information um, if you change that you'll see that it shows it as a Maserati which is the Droid 4 um, it says it's connected now you want to click these three dots and you want to 
go to your desktop if that's where you saved it and find your zipped firmware and you don't need to unzip these um, the um, RSD light is capable of unzipping um, and that's um, decompress and start flashing um, you can also do the decompress only then it'll ask you to start flashing after that but um, you just do it in one step it doesn't take very long to unzip the folder it may take longer than I remember Okay, so it's um, rebooted. It's going to reboot a few times during the process. I guess I should mention that before you start this, it's best to have a fully charged battery. Um, it will take some battery, and um, if you run into a problem where it, um, it doesn't want to flash correctly, um, running out of running your battery down past the point it won't boot um, can uh, cause real problems. Also, it has a um, the AP fast boot mode also has a battery check. If it's below a certain percentage, it won't um, allow you to flash. And then you're going to need, will need a uh, fast boot cable. Let's see, we're at 20 out of 25. That's going pretty quickly. It um, speed will vary from PC to PC. If you have a newer one, a faster one than mine, then it may actually go faster. If you have an old one, it may go slower. You don't have to use um, RSD Light version 6.1.4. There are several older versions that will work just fine. Um, I would say anything um, 5.7 or newer um, should be fine. Um, I'm running a Windows 7 64-bit um, um, PC. Um, 
if you got Windows 8, you might need a, you might want a, a version 6 um, RSD light. You probably don't want to use one of the older ones. Okay, it's going to reboot. It may do a um, some additional updating. Also, after um, when it starts to go into the reboot, um, it may not boot up the first time. Um, you may need to go into recovery and um, and uh, wipe cache or uh, cache and data. Um, do a, a factory reset um, in order for it to boot up the first time. Right now, it's got a little. Uh, progress bar here is just finishing the um, the update to the um, firmware and we got a Android Andy with uh, some uh, some deal spinning in his uh, insides It's uh, showing that it uh, status bar is fully complete. There it shouldn't be too much longer, and it'll reboot again or finish the boot process. I'm going to pause the video for just a moment. Um, we're getting close to the 15 minute mark that I didn't want to go over. Okay, it's another minute since I paused um, and has started with the boot again. And it may take a couple minutes for it to get beyond this point. I'm going to pause again. All right, I just paused it for a minute or so, and it, it uh, it's, uh, changed to uh, changed a different icon here. Um, you can see that it, uh, the PC has uh, detected it differently. Um, it's going to boot any second here, probably. All right, we had a slight change in the screen here. It says preparing device. Please wait. 
Alright, well the phone finally booted. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope this